Good evening, everyone. What's the scariest thing you can think of? Fear is something that we all feel, but for the most part, what scares us is subjective, different from person to person. What scares you may not scare me, somebody else, or the person next to you. And there is a person next to you. Hello, Leo. There are common fears like heights, which I personally definitely suffer from, uh, or like fear of the dark, which is not a problem that I am plagued with. And then there are the phobias like cholerophobia, fear of clowns, arachnophobia, fear of spiders, or trypophobia, fear of tightly packed holes. Once again, however, these fears don't affect everyone. For me, I don't think clowns are scary. I don't want a spider crawling on me, but I don't really care if one is in my vicinity. And trypophobia, well, that one actually gets to me a little bit. But I want to find the fear that affects most people. One that affects almost everyone. And I think I have found that fear. Xenophobia. If you're up to date on your most recent political issues, you know that people usually use this term to describe someone fearful, people who don't hail from their specific country of origin. But what this term actually describes is fear of the unknown. I believe this is a deep, ingrained fear in all of us. If it wasn't, there would be no way that we would have survived as a species. Fear is the feeling that would have told us to not go into that deep, dark cave we just heard sounds from in our early development as humans. But it's a fear that I believe haunts us all to this day. And to prove it, I'm going to pose two scenarios to you. Scenario A and Scenario B. In scenario A, you're home alone, just sitting back, relaxing, when you hear a noise coming from another room. You go to investigate, and as you do, you're met with a home intruder. You can make them out, mostly the silhouette, but you can tell that there is in fact another person you don't know standing right in front of you, motionless, just standing and looking at you. Definitely an extremely terrifying thing to find, for anyone to find. But now consider scenario B. Just like scenario A, you hear a noise coming from another room, but you have to investigate, but this time instead, you're met with an impossibly dark room. You can hear some noises coming from this room. But your eyes haven't quite adjusted to the dark yet, and you can't make out what's causing the ruckus. Then, in an instant, you get the distinct feeling in the pit of your stomach that something is looking at you. Whatever is just behind the veil of darkness, just a hallway's length away from you, has found you. Everything gets impossibly quiet. You feel your heart beating in your ears. You still can't quite make out what's now caught you in this standoff, but you swear. You can detect movement just barely beyond your sight's reach. If this were a horror movie, this would be a prime place to put a jump scare.
But this isn't a horror movie. And I wouldn't do that to you. After all, that's not the point of this exercise. The point is to pose this question to you. Which one was scarier? A or B? Let me know in the comments. And thank you for watching.